Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here. And it's great to see that laptops lately have been getting thinner and lighter over time. It's also really nice as it's starting to leak into gaming laptops, including this new MSI Stealth 15M. Super excited to check this laptop out. It's one of the thinnest and lightest gaming laptops you can get, including the latest 11th gen Intel processor and a dedicated graphics card with an RTX 3060 GPU inside. And again, inside this 15M is that 11th gen Core i7 processor from Intel. And big thanks to Intel for sending this laptop over for us to check out. We are going to unbox this gaming laptop, take a quick look what you get inside, and then of course get some hands on, maybe play some games since it is a gaming laptop. Let's get started. Let's take a look inside. First of all, I would assume this is the power cable. I want to make note that I will actually be streaming on Twitch from this laptop. So be sure to follow me there. I'll link to it down below. If you're interested, you can chat about tech, about this laptop, and I can give you my impressions on streaming off of just this one laptop. First off, we've got our charging cable with a proprietary connection. I would have liked to have seen a USB connection for charging. And this brick is fairly large. However, keep in mind, when you do have a gaming PC with a dedicated GPU, it's going to need more power. So this brick makes sense. Great to see, MSI included a USB type A to ethernet adapter, which of course, while you're gaming, you're probably gonna want a stable connection. This secures that you can get that, or just in general, just faster speeds overall. Finally, have our getting started guide, warranty information, and a few other booklets. Now on to what you came to see. Taking the MSI Stealth 15M, it looks like there is some plastic on it but I can already tell this is a very light and surprisingly thin laptop. Again, keep in mind this is a gaming laptop and check out how thin that actually is. Let's peel this off. I honestly think that will always be satisfying. Anyways, let's take a close look at the hardware of this laptop. On the left side, we have some ventilation a port for our charging brick, a micro SD card slot for some expandable storage, USB type A port, and our headphone jack. Moving along, there is a little bit of a notch for your finger to go into to open it up. We'll do the one-handed test in just a second. Now on the right side, we do have two USB type C ports. One of them is actually a Thunderbolt 4 connection, USB type A port. HDMI port, nice to see actually, not a lot of laptops, especially thin laptops like this have HDMI ports and some more ventilation. I know I'd mentioned I would have liked to have seen a USB-C charging cable. Looks like you can actually charge this laptop via this USB Type-C port. Of course, it just didn't come with that cable. And finally, a quick look at the back again just some more ventilation especially when you're playing some games you do not want it to overheat a quick look at the bottom with a cool pattern you have an entire bar for grip at the bottom and top a little bit more raised towards the back of the laptop so it tilts towards you and also a couple other grips on the side and finally up at the top very minimal just the msi logo right here not a lot going on like some of the other flashy gaming laptops you see i have a couple friends that have really flashy gaming laptops and speaking of friends that brings us to the sponsor of this video which is hp let me introduce you to my hp smart friend HP Smart Friend allows you to have technology gurus at your fingertips, and they're available 24 7 through phone, chat, and remote support. Your HP Smart Friend will be there for you, offering judgment free help. And not only will they fix unexpected problems, but they'll help you sync an Android or iPhone to a Windows PC, performance optimizations on your device if you're having trouble connecting to a network with Wi Fi. Not only do you get that great support, but another one of the perks of a Smart Friend subscription is access to HP employee purchase plan pricing on HP hardware and accessories. So if you're looking for a reliable, trustworthy friend to help with your tech devices, look no further than HP Smart Friend. And back to the video. Like always, let's do the one-handed opening test and passes with ease. 
as expected, super easy to open with one hand. And a quick close look at the keyboard and a couple impressions, of course, has that new i7 11-375H processor inside and that RTX 3060 GPU. Excited to test this out. But the first thing I noticed was the trackpad looks a little bit small, especially for a 15.6 inch laptop overall. And again, overall, the laptop looks really sleek. I can tell that these are backlit keys. Excited to see what those look like and a nice different design towards the top here, which just kind of mi mixes it up, gives it a little creativity while still looking very sleek. Also noticed with the display, it goes back just about all the way, obviously not all the way around, but pretty cool. It can lay completely flat if you want it to. Now let's go ahead and boot this laptop up for the first time, run through the startup process, talk about anything noteworthy if there is anything. And we are all set up and ready to go. Take a look at that backlighting on the keyboard. Looks really sleek. And overall the setup process, nothing out of the ordinary, pretty standard Windows setup. This MSI Stealth 15M has a 1920 by 1080 LCD display. This is a matte display along with the ability to bump it up to 144 hertz. Great to see, especially because of course this is a gaming laptop. Also just wanna mention bezels on the sides and top are very thin up towards the top. There is also a webcam and there's a quick kill switch on the keyboard if you'd like to turn the webcam on and off. And like I mentioned, this is a 144 hertz display. Now out of the box, it was enabled. If you'd like to double check, go into display settings, scroll down, go to advanced, Display settings in the bottom left here, refresh rate says 144 hertz, so we are good to go. I've installed some games, and we'll get to those in just a second, but down at the bottom, since this is an MSI laptop, they have what is called the Dragon Center. So let's go into this for the first time, read through. Definitely read all of that very quickly. And here we are giving a lot of different information with CPU, GPU usage, how much space the disk has used. This is a one terabyte SSD. You'll notice the 11th gen Intel Core i7 processor, NVIDIA RTX 3060 with 16 gigs of RAM. Now up at the top, there is a scenario where you have extreme performance, balance, silence, super battery, and user where you can customize uh, the specific scenario, which is nice because you want to be able to choose, hey, I don't need the fans running. I'm not doing anything intensive. Let's just turn this off into the silent mode. Now going down to general settings, uh, you can switch different buttons, looks like. If you turn your webcam on and off. And there's a mystic light section to customize the LEDs behind that keyboard for the color, the different waves, breathing cycle, color shift. You can really customize it to your liking. And before we play some games, let's do a quick typing test on the keyboard. On to some gaming tests. I'll show off the graphics settings to start, just so you know what I'm working with. All games were played in 1080p. To start, this is PUBG. I really don't play PUBG anymore. However, I was getting around 40-ish with those graphic settings, which were higher than I normally would have set. Generally, I go for higher FPS and lower quality games as opposed to the flip side. So it's kind of up to you. So 40 was a little low. I would definitely crank down the graphic settings. They were set a little bit too high for my liking. And same thing for Apex Legends was getting around 40 frames a second. And again, I generally would crank down the quality settings a bit so I could get a little bit higher FPS. I'd like to get around 60 frames a second while I'm gaming. And finally, just a little bit of Rocket League. Graphic settings were set pretty high and that's getting around 80 frames a second during high intense gameplay. It cranked up a bit when it was before kickoff, etc. I do wanna make note that the fans are fairly loud. A bit of noise coming from them with a thinner PC, I'm guessing they need to kind of crank up those fans and which leads to them being a little bit louder because of how thin the laptop is. So overall, that is everything for now when it comes to the MSI Stealth 15M. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this very classy looking gaming laptop. Again, very light and thin. This is under four pounds. 
which is great to see a lot of gaming laptops get really bulk bulky and are kind of a pain to bring with you when you're traveling and such. So again, drop a comment, let me know what you think. Be sure to subscribe, a lot more content coming soon. And as always, thanks for watching.